And Ronjay Benefit makes one of two, so they're five of eight from the line. And not as bad as their field goal shooting, at least. Wilson fouled. Try to be tougher defense are the Coca-Cola Tigers. And they've been fouling the Barangay Nebrajit Kings, although they are not yet in the penalty. The next foul will put them in a penalty situation. A minute and 21 to go, second quarter. Sunday Salva Shaw from Three Point Country. Oh, uh, and the rebound that goes in for Alex Cusano. He now has four points. And that's the 14th offensive rebound there for Barangay Nebra. And they've got 11 second chance points. Ranje Buenafe to Alci Taulava. Taulava working against Alex Cusano. Taulava's inside and the hook. Really works hard. hard, yes. Asito Lavin really hasn't taken too many shots, but he's doing good when he tries to bring it inside and score from his comfort zone. Only taken six shots so far in this ball game and made half of those shots. Ball out of down low to Alex Crisano. And Crisano thinking about it and he goes for the shot. He was smiling <laughs> while taking that shot. He says, but his coach was not smiling. <laughs> and I could see the, the words in his mind when he took that shot. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> look, at him, look at him looking at us. <laughs> All right, a 30-second timeout has just been called by Barangay Hinebra. Uh, 25.7 seconds uh, remaining in the second quarter. And a 14-point lead for the Gin Kings of 34 to 20. It doesn't look as bad as it did uh, in the first few minutes, of the first uh, five or six minutes of the uh, second quarter. We look at J.J. Helderbrand in street clothes. I believe it's a groin injury yes. that uh, has sidelined him uh, for this game at least. Actually, he already sustained that groin injury after his last game, but the following day, he still insisted on practicing, not telling his coach that he was hurting. Oh, uh, so aggravated, it. yes. Well, lessons learned. But uh, but a guy never certainly not looking none the worse for it. As they have this commanding lead, which once stood at 21. Mark to line back in the game for Coca-Cola. Paul Artadi, they'd like to go for the last shot. So Artadi biding his time. Here's Sunday Salvation back to Artadi. Artadi decides to go for it. Was that a pass? Will Wilson and Mike Talan grabs the rebound. They've got time for their last shot. Alex Kabagnot being shadowed by Paul Artadi. Kabagnot fires from way out. That was way out. All right, score 34-20, 14 point lead here for the Barangay Hinebra Jim Kings and it has been a tough uh, 24 minutes for the Coca-Cola Tigers and uh, improved uh, their shooting towards the end of the uh, second period but uh, the first uh, half and uh, the first uh, quarter and a half were really very miserable as far as the Coca-Cola Tigers were concerned. And we hope to get them to pick it up in the uh, second half. We go now to Viva Chapo with Ron Octubi. Thanks, Ed. Ron, nahirapan makascore ang Coca-Cola nung first half dahil ba ito sa matinding depensa ninyo? Uh, wala kasi kaming magunan ng uh, score. So kailangan mag-upisa muna sa defense para pag nag-error sila, eh, ano namin sa points. That's why, defense namin talaga pinagtigyan namin kasi subala si JJ. Ang Coca-Cola, kilalang kumabalik yan sa second quarter. Ano dapat sa second half? Ano dapat ang mindset niya pagpasok ng second half? Well, see you. Uh, start ng first quarter, kung ano ginawa ng first quarter, yun kayo, yun namin sa third and fourth. Kaya, medyo nag-relax kami sa second, kaya nakabawi siya ng konta. Okay, thank you. Good luck sa second half. Back to you, Ed. Alright, and, uh, the uh, Baraka Hinebra Jim Kings coming away with a 14 point lead at the half at 34 to 20. And we'll be back for the halftime show after some messages from CS9.
Back here at the Olivares College Sports uh, Arena in Paranaque City. Kamusta po kayo? Ed Pixon po kasama sa Richard Del Rosario for this game between Barangay Hinebra and Coca-Cola. Starting off the third quarter. Alex Cabagnot for Coca-Cola off to Asito Lava against Eric Mack. And again, he uh, takes it strong inside but missed the shot. Paul Artadi zooming into the front court. Gets it up with the Sunday Salvation. The three-point shot is no good. Eric Mack for the offensive board still. More offensive rebound for Barangay Hinebra to start the third. Yeah, offensive rebound number 17. So another chance here for Barangay Hinebra to score. There's Eric Meg from the outside. Eric Meg! Eric Meg shooting well from the perimeter. He, and, uh, he has four points in the ball game. And a new steal by Paul Artadi, but he steps on the sideline. Lead is now 16, the highest uh, that uh, Barangay Hinebra was able to get as far as the lead is concerned was 21. You know, an interesting stat here, Ed, was in the first half, it was only Asita Olava actually who made a field goal from the two-point region. The rest, 0%, nothing from the teammates of Asita Olava. All their points came from the three-point line or from the free-throw line. Well, there's Alex Gabagnod with the two-pointer to join Asita Olava. Sunday Salvation breaks free. Taking off Cesar Cotley there, seven points for Sunday. Alex Cabagnot looking at Nick Velasco. Velasco against Willie Wilson. Family call on Nick Velasco. Uh, they really want to milk this matchup between uh, Nick Velasco and Willie Wilson. The problem there was that uh, Wilson forced Velasco to take to get the ball away from the post area where he, uh, he could take advantage of his uh, height. 16-point lead for Barangay Hinebra. And the entry pass to uh, uh, Ronald Tubid went awry and Cesar Cotley recovered it for Coca-Cola. Down low, Asito Lava against Willie Wilson and Paul Artani getting into the picture to knock the ball away. Good help from Paul Artadi, otherwise Asito Lava could have just shot over Willie Wilson. Mark Talan. Sorry, that was Cesar Cotley actually. Here's Asito Lava. Out to Cabagno, top of the key oh. jumper. Finally a three-pointer. Finally it's back for Alex Cabagno, TM Treseante, Jane and TM. Ang inyong kakampi sa buhay. He has six points in the ball game. Uh, somebody's got to get hot for Coca-Cola. This is the closest that the Tigers have come to the lead of Barangay Hineba since the first quarter. And yeah, we were talking about uh, the Coca-Cola Tigers field goal shooting. Actually, is the second lowest all time here in the PBA in the first half. In the first half. Well, uh, that's nothing to write home about. Sunday, Salvador John. Douses cold water on them with a three-point shot. He's got nine in the game so far. Lead is 15 for Barangay Hinebra. Asito Lava with that familiar move inside. And although he missed the shot, he will get two shots. You know, the Barangay Hinebra is really not doubling Asito Lava right away at the post. They know that Asito Lava is really where the double team is coming from. So he's, uh, they're doubling him once he gets a foot in the paint. And sometimes that was a bit too late as Asita Olava was able to uh, make an attempt. And you can expect Asita Olava to really just be more aggressive here in the third quarter. And you can expect the other Tigers to go to him and uh, to exploit that uh, advantage that he has at the post. Nobody uh, in the uh, Barangay Jeans uh, lineup really I could match him uh, size for size. And although uh, free throw shooting is not the strong suit of Asita Olava, he's the only one with a two for two count on the, uh, from the strike for Coca-Cola. Fast break play. RJ Rizada completes it for Coca-Cola off the steal. Yeah, those, those, those are the first two points of Coca-Cola of the fast break. And they need more of that. Oh. And another miscue here 
by Barangay. He never asked it out and decides to bring it all the way. He's been trying to do that, going yeah. coast to coast from the uh, get go. Finally got his wish. Uh, don't look now, but Barangay uh, Ola is only down by nine. It's been quite a while since the uh, deficit was at single digit. Ronald Tubit. Eric Menk almost another steal. Three seconds on the shot clock. Eric Menk beats it. Six points for Menk in the game.